Okay, hello, my name is Ed Cup, and I wanted to make a short video. Um, I was watching a video from uh, Cap, sorry, I don't remember your last name, and you were, it was about Tucker Carlson and the demonic attack he experienced while he was sleeping. And I have a little bit of experience or knowledge that the good Lord's opened uh, my eyes on. Um, so this is what I believe. Um, it's, it's part of the problem, and God doesn't focus on the problem. He focuses on the solution, and we should too. That's most definitely, so that's the Bible. Um, but when, in the same way that our thoughts, uh, God made this world so that we can retain our thoughts to ourselves, so we can't read each other's mind. Because if you could imagine, if we could, the chaos that would uh, would be. Um, and on top of that, when we're sleeping, we're in the spirit realm. And in the spirit realm, if you start to become consciously aware, maybe not enough to, you know, be afraid and wake yourself up because, you know, you're sleeping, but enough to where when you do wake up, you remember your dream. Um, whatever you take to bed with you, uh, if it's anger or fear, um, it's like God says, if you hate your brother, you've committed murder. Because if you go to bed hating someone, chances are, because when you're there, your thoughts create instantly, you can actually end up living out that hatred. And when it affects your heart, God says that the that out of your heart flows all the issues of life. The demonic attacks that we get come from when we go to bed. And it's very important never to let the sun go down on your wrath. You know, God gives us a lot of warnings in the Bible. Uh, but he, he doesn't focus on the problem. He just focuses on the solution. So I don't want to get off into the too much of the problem, but in the same way that our thoughts um, were, were designed so our thoughts can remain our thoughts, you know, we don't share them. In the same way, in the spiritual realm, uh, God made different dimensions to help keep uh, the wicked away from the righteous, you know, so we don't have to be on the same plane, you know, it, it, it's basically... Uh, a way to protect us and I think that's what God means when he says he puts a veil over our heart you know because out of the heart flows all the issues of life and he's protecting us but the fact is is that there's many many different dimensions there's as many dimensions as there are emotions and those dimensions um, if you go to bed with the say anger on your heart or fear you'll end up in a dimension of like minds and a lot of spirits that feed off of our emotions. So if we end up in a dimension where the demonic spirits that are there because it's a, a you know, anything that is not godly is demonic. If you end up in a place of fear, you're going to have spirits around that know you very intimately because you've been there before. And they also know your thoughts. So if you start to uh, wake up, they've already primed it so that you can live out your thought. Uh, it's happened to me. I made a video about it. But this is, you know, and I, I don't know if Tucker Carlson is a hunter or not, but he could have, you know, that might not even be anything close to what he experienced. Because I, I, I just know that the demonic is real. I know that our thoughts create. I know that God gave us the power of life and death and put it in our tongue. But before it comes out of our mouth, it has to be a thought. He tells us to control our thoughts, uh, take every thought captive, hold it in obedience to Christ. And if we do everything that God tells us to do, it'll make our life a lot easier. But most of us don't know uh, God's word enough or believe it to uh, I don't even know what I'm saying
I guess what I'm saying is that we really need to heed the warnings that God gives us in the Bible. And like I said, God doesn't focus on the problem. He focuses on the solution. And his solution is his son, Jesus Christ. Uh, I love you guys. I can't make this video too long. I'm going to stumble over my words anyway, but I don't have memory in my phone for it. So God bless. Y'all have an awesome day. And we'll talk to you soon.